this one I know I do a lot of uh, fish catch clean and cooks and I, I mean I like to cook everything so I like to branch out quite a bit um, there's a lot of different uh, recipes that I do and, and most of them are just trial and error I've done them over and over again until I get it right so thanks for joining me guys thanks for watching again don't forget to click that subscribe button I'm looking forward to seeing more of you guys we're at 309 and uh, I'm looking at a good positive year. I really am. My son's going to be coming out with me. I'm super excited for that. I hope to see you guys out there too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in a minute. Please don't do that. Eat that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this up to broil on high and let it start heating up. Here's our roast beautiful pork loin it's gonna be amazing go ahead and get that prepped up the rest of the stuff you need for this you need your carrots you need your celery you need your red potatoes your onion you also need vegetable broth if you're gonna use pork use vegetable broth in my opinion it makes it the best if you're going to make a beef of course, obviously beef broth. I don't recommend chicken. Um, love chicken, don't get me wrong. I just don't recommend it for a roast. So while that's prepping, we're gonna start chopping up these veggies and I'll be right back, watch. Whoa. Fire? Wow, look at that. Oh, I missed a couple potatoes. That's okay. That was pretty cool. I wonder. Oh my goodness, look at that. Holy cow, that worked wonderful. A little bit messy, but that's okay. Hey, uh, still didn't chop it up. That's fine. That's all right. Oh, that's hot. Get that going. Doesn't take too long, guys. My goodness, look at that beautiful ham. Oh, well, it's pork and... It only cooked for as long as I would have normally been taken to cut those veggies up. So, since that worked, you know, I'm going to have to thank Robert Arrington because uh, he gave me the idea there. But, yeah, it's, it's just the top. I just wanted to prep that. I don't know if I like the whole snap in the fingers thing. It didn't really do anything but throw the, I mean, just haphazardly. What the heck is that all about? <sighs> All right, let's get this right over there in the pot. And I'm not going to do that again because that, yeah, I would hate for this to be a mess. So let me be smart and grab my glove. Just like that. All right, there we go. It's in there. We've got the celery. We've got the potatoes. We've got the onions. we got the pork. Put that top on there. And we're going to go ahead and turn that up to high. Huh. wonder why it's not working. Wow. So, the, the rest of the stuff you need for this, you need your carrots, you need your set. That was a bad idea. But, it just didn't plug it in when you snapped the fingers. So, let me go ahead and plug it in and... Yeah, let's let this thing start cooking. Well, unlike, uh, you know, my fish recipes, this one's pretty simple. Soy sauce, citrus blend, black pepper, garlic salt. That's it. We use about, uh, maybe about two tablespoons of the garlic salt. We use about two tablespoons of the black pepper. I use about two tablespoons of the citrus blend and soy sauce to taste. That's it, guys. It's pretty super simple for my roast. All right, so if you've got hungry kids, you kind of got to switch it to a pot. It is now 6.30. The uh, crock pot actually started acting up and it wouldn't heat up properly. I don't know what the heck's going on. It's, it stopped working. So I had to transfer everything to this pot and finish it up. 
but it is just about done. All right, let's cut into this. So we got going for us. Oh, look at that. It was beautiful. All right, well, me thinks dinner is served. Yep, that's good. All right, we'll go ahead and give this a taste test, make sure everything looks great. Be right back. All right, pardon the angle. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Got potatoes. Nice hot. All right. Onion. My favorite part, because it takes all the flavor of the stew. Oh, that's so good. The roast, I apologize, it's not a stew. Go give that a bit of celery. Mm -hmm. Celery's done. Uh, celery takes a little bit of the flavor, not as much as the onion, but it's pretty good. It's perfect. I don't like it to be all the way soft. Just a little bit al dente. I guess if you can use that for anything other than noodles, it'd be pretty much al dente. Now for the pork. The pork is sublime. It's really tasty, really juicy. Uh, it's not very dried out, surprisingly. I was a little bit worried when I turned on my oven and I, I let that broil hit uh, the high heat before I actually threw it in. So I was a little bit worried, but it turned out really well. Only took about four hours letting that sit. And uh, it probably could have been cut down to three had that cor uh, the crock pot actually work I don't know I don't know what happened there but I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna go ahead and get a plate I'll show you guys what it looks like and I hope you guys have a fantastic day don't forget to click subscribe